King Sombra is a unicorn stallion and was the evil ruler of the Crystal Empire and the main antagonist of the Season 3 premiere. Before Princess Celestia and Princess Luna defeated him, he put a curse on the Crystal Empire which made it disappear for a thousand years. Fast forward a thousand years later and guess who returns? But Twilight and friends find the Crystal Heart which causes him to be blown to bits and obliterated from the show in a crackering, shattering, fiery death never to be seen or heard from again! You know, for kids! The show's story editor, Megan McCarthy, and another staff member that worked on the show stated that the character's name is Sombra, which is Spanish, Portuguese, and Galician for word shadow, which comes from the Latin word umbra. Jim Miller, the show's storyboard supervisor and King Sombra's voice actor, drew inspiration from the vocals of Mattistadon's song, Crystal Skull, for his performance as King Sombra. Megan McCarthy has said that King Sombra was inspired by Sauron from The Lord of the Rings and is meant to be a dark presence. King Sombra is a dark gray unicorn with a black spiky mane and tail. Sombra's horn is curved smooth, sharp at the tip, and it grins from dark gray to red. He wears silver armor on his legs and neck, a crown on his head, and a red cape that covers his flank. When his butt is shown in Princess Celestia's flashback, it appears that he has no cutie mark. The show does not explicitly specify the natures of King Sombra's defeat at the end of the Crystal Empire. Megan McCarthy referred to Sombra as being dead now. Jason Thesis was asked why would a pony die on a TVY show and replied, hence the joke, maybe one day someone will deal with death on a TVY show. Wait, Sesame Street did in the 80s, Mr. Hooper died. In issue 18, Princess Celestia talks about King Sombra of another world she visited, where he ruled Equestria with kindness and love in his heart. This Sombra was in love with Celestia, who loves him in return. In issue 19, the original King Sombra is shown in a stained glass window and in Twilight Sparkle's memory of his defeat. In the alternate universe, King Sombra makes plans with the main six on how to stop the evil Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. In issue 20, they go to the castle of the two sisters and enact their plan to defeat them. Upon realizing that their plans will imprison the good Celestia too, Sombra uses the elements of harmony to absorb the evil powers of the princesses and becomes just like the original King Sombra. In the end, he is shown thinking of Princess Celestia and crying, indicating that he still misses her. Still a better love story than Twilight. And Flash. In the comic series My Little Pony, Fiend, Ship is Magic, Issue 1, it explores the secret origins of King Sombra. Twilight Sparkle asks Princess Cadence, So, do you think he's coming back? And Cadence replies, Sombra? No, I think he's gone for good, but we should be prepared. In a flashback, Sombra is found as a cult in the wasteland of the Arctic North and brought to the Crystal Empire Orphanage. During his time at the orphanage, Sombra was bullied by other foals. And when you're getting picked on by orphans, you know you're a loser. But he made a close friend named Radiant Hope. Every year during the Crystal Fair, Sombra suffers severe pain and aches, and his body almost fractures to pieces if not for Radiant Hope's healing spell. When he runs off into the frozen waste one day, Sombra finds a strange red crystal calling itself his mother. The crystal reveals to Sombra his true nature, he is actually a living shadow called an Umbrium, created to destroy the Crystal Heart and set free to the Umbrium army, trapped below the Crystal Empire. With his dormant powers awakened, Sombra embraces his destiny. He steals the Crystal Heart away and turns the Empire's ruler, Princess Amor, into a statue and then crushing her. When Radiant Hope informs Princess Celestia and Princess Luna, Sombra knows his defeat is coming, so he enacts a curse that makes the Crystal Empire vanish. In Series 2 of Interplay's Trading Cards, there's a card featuring King Sombra. The back of the card includes the description, After being turned to shadow and banished to the frozen north for a thousand years, this black-hearted unicorn is back for revenge. The mere mention of King Sombra's name strikes fears into the hearts of ponies all across the Crystal Empire, and it's easy to see why. Sombra recently returned only to be defeated again by Princess Cadence in the power of the Crystal Heart. Some say that his horn survived his defeat, but only time will tell if he will ever return. I really hope this black unicorn does return. I mean, he killed a princess! A princess! I hope you guys learned something about King Sombra today, and if you have a suggestion for a pony, please leave it in the comments below, but be sure to check out the Pony Facts playlist to make sure I haven't already done it. I'm Tootsie Roll 2, and thank you for watching. And the next pony is... 
a remake. Beautiful.